President Biden praised Barack Obama as one of the most consequential presidents in our history as he unveiled the ex-commander-in-chief and Michelle Obama's official portraits in a long-delayed ceremony at the White House. There are a few people I've ever known with more, there are, oh, I thought I read that incorrectly, with more integrity, decency, and more courage than Barack Obama, Biden said on Wednesday in the East Room, packed with alumni of the Obama administration as a former first family looked up, looked on, I should say. Uh, these portraits have a special significance because, as Joe mentioned, they will hang in the White House alongside portraits of other presidents and first ladies dating back to George and Martha. Obama flanked by his wife remarked, if I had read this earlier, I would have done my uh, impression of him because I've been told it's so stunningly accurate. Obama's portrait by artist Robert McCurdy shows a former president sporting a black suit and gray tie. The painting was created from photographs taken of Obama by McCurdy, which the White House said the artist preferred over working from sketches based on sittings. The white background of McCurdy's portrait allowed the viewer to establish a relationship with the subject. The White House said the focus shifts from the celebrity says the individual to the viewer's direct response to that individual as a human being. Obama lauded McCurdy's work saying what i love about robert is that he paints people exactly the way they are for better or worse he captures every wrinkle on your face every crease in your shirt you'll note that he refuses to hide any of my gray hairs refuse my request to make my ears smaller obama said he also talked me out of wearing a tan suit obama cracked to laughs a reference to an infamous 2014 sort sartorial choice that made headlines uh, Sharon Sprung painted the image of Michelle Obama that will hang in the White House by methodically manipulating the layers of paint. She works to mimic the complexity of real life in her portrait compositions, the White House said in a statement about the portraits. While typically not an eyebrow raising custom, the tradition of a first term president villain, the official portraits of their immediate predecessor was a precedent shattering casualty of former President Trump's time in office. <laughs> they make it sound like he just broke this amazing tradition that was so helpful and you know like really um impactful in some positive way it's just a bunch of heads of state effectively uh jerking each other off oh my successor and his brilliant leadership and now you will see his picture um trump reportedly declined to host obama his longtime political nemesis for such a ceremony during his term obama was also opposed to participating in the tradition with trump according to news reports so I don't, I don't understand. It looks like it, this was like a mutual um, thing of animosity. So how, how is it just Trump's shattering it? Like, wouldn't the blame be laid on both of them for refusing to cooperate? Michelle Obama struck a serious tone while dressed in the crowd gathered. It's still a big awkward for me. I think they meant a bit, but there, this is the hill screwing up. For me to stand in this historic place, historic space, see this big, beautiful painting staring back at me, Obama said. Growing up in Chicago, 58-year-old Obama said, I never could have imagined that any of this would be part of my story, but even if it, it's all still a bit, bit awkward to me, I do recognize why moments like these are important, why all of this is absolutely necessary, she said. Traditions like this matter, not just for those who hold those these traditions, but for everyone participating in and watching our democracy, Obama said, without mentioning Trump by name. Do you see the people that made their voices heard with their votes, she continued. And, our time, and once our time is up, we move on. And all that remains is this hollowed place, our, our good efforts, and these portraits, Obama said. The first public view of the Obama's official portraits also faced further delays beyond the Trump presidency due to COVID-19. The pair of paintings were originally expected to be revealed last year, but the ceremony was reportedly postponed because of the pandemic. The event marked the first trip back to White House for Michelle Obama since she was first lady. The former president had returned to the White House on April. in April, his first visit since Biden took office to promote the Affordable Care Act. The Obama's portraits will, be permanent, will have a permanent home at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay, um, I think we can wrap this up because there's not that much art of the article left. So, um, this is a important story because they try to frame it as Trump broke this tradition, but then they also mention very passively that, oh, by the way, Obama refused to participate in this with him. So, I think they should both be blamed for breaking it, which which is a tradition that doesn't matter to me anyway because it's 
it's just again people and paintings. It's not it's not historically significant beyond being like a little footnote. Um, I I just think it's so interesting how like when she when you listen to what Michelle was saying about the uh, portraits, right, being the only thing that remains to her along with the efforts. The problem is we have a lot of paintings of people, like a lot of historical monuments, right, of different people that we, we as a society consider to have mattered more than your average person. But we don't really do that good of a job of explaining why that person mattered. Like, yeah, you have Biden talking about, uh, you know, he's one of the most important, referring to Obama, that he's one of the most important presidents ever. But outside of the ACA, you don't really see any discussion of his record. And, you know, like by, by people who are um, supposedly like, trying to keep his legacy going whatever that means uh you don't you don't really hear too much of like an actual in-depth or even if it was just surface level stuff like you hear nothing about him restoring relations with cuba or the iran nuclear deal you know two things i liked or the things i hate like him taking us from two wars to seven having a kill list you know just uh jailing journalists six times with the espionage act when they exposed his war crimes it's a shame that so much stuff happens and like people will forever remember Obama. I have no doubt about that. First African American president. Um, you know, I, that's not something I, I dispute at all, but what I, I do dispute is that they'll remember the majority of what he actually did. And I, th I think that is more important than any painting or uh, self aggrandizing picture you can hang in some place. 